Today I'm sharing with you how to make tuna salad sandwiches. The filling for this sandwich is really quick and easy to make and the texture is very creamy and it's really delicious. And these make for really good what you'd call cold sandwiches. Though I usually make them with warm toasted bread. So it's not really cold in that sense. But because it works as a cold sandwich, it is perfect to pack in lunch boxes or carry on trips and picnics. So let's get started. For making the filling for tuna salad sandwiches, you need 12 ounces of canned tuna with all the excess water strained off. And I use Bumblebee Chunk Light Tuna in water. I prefer this brand because it has a milder flavor and doesn't have that dominant fishy taste. And the chunk style means the tuna comes in very small pieces, perfect for making creamy sandwich filling. Also, canned tuna packed in water has a milder flavor and lesser calories than tuna packed in oil. And it also makes less of a mess. So that's what I go with. One cup of mayonnaise. And it's always best to go with the full fat mayo because of the flavor and also the additives in the low fat version. One cup of chopped onions. One cup of chopped cucumbers. Or you can also go with tomatoes based on your preference and 3-4 teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of pepper. Once you have all the ingredients ready, all you need to do is add all of them to a bowl and mix them together till you get a chunky yet creamy sandwich filling. You can also add additional seasoning based on your preference. I usually add in red chili flakes and coriander flakes, but this is completely optional. And that's it, the sandwich filling is ready. Use this as a spread over bread for making an open faced tuna salad sandwich, or use as a filling between two slices of bread for making a regular tuna salad sandwich. And enjoy! For the written and printable version of this recipe, check the link in the description box below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button at the bottom of this video. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until I see you again, happy cooking!